All right, so we're cruising on into our handout 78C, uh, which is just going to give us kind of a general um, anatomy and function of our uh, vertebral column. And uh, what I want to focus on here is not only the different types of vertebrae that we learned in lab, but their curves. And so let me get rid of myself. Bye. And uh, this handout is going to talk about uh, the different types of vertebrae. So we know from lab that we have seven cervical, 12 thoracic, five lumbar, five sacral, and then we have four, generally four uh, coccygeal. But more importantly, we need to know that there are four curves to our vertebrae. And this acts as a spring, right? So the vertebrae can spring. It's not a straight, uh, a straight bar. It can compress like a spring. And these curves allow this compression, all right? So uh, your cervical vertebrae are going to curve anteriorly towards the front. So we have an anterior curve to the cervical. The thoracic are then going to curve the opposite way, so they curve posterior. Then your lumbar curve back anteriorly. And then your uh, sacrum and coccyx curve back the opposite way, posterior. So you need to know these curves. So the normal curvatures are going to be uh, cervical goes to the front, anterior, thoracic, to posterior, lumbar, back, anterior, and then uh, the sacrum back to the posterior. This is going to allow your vertebrae to compress as we jump around and stuff. If this were just straight up and down, you could compress and herniate a disc really easily. But having this shape allows us to compress. Now, um, that's pretty easy. And I just wrote down here at the bottom that it's a spring for cushioning. Now, if I zoom in, we have some abnormal curvatures. So folks that don't have this typical normal curvature can have uh, some disorders called lordosis or kyphosis and then uh, scoliosis. So lordosis is a saddleback. Lordosis is where the thoracic vertebrae do not uh, curve posterior, but they start curving anterior. So it gives you this saddleback. That is what we call lordosis. Kyphosis is where the cervical vertebrae are not going to curve correctly anteriorly, but they curve posteriorly. So you get a hunchback. So these are just disorders of these normal curvatures. Lordosis is a saddleback. Kyphosis is a hunchback. And uh, this may need to be treated if it becomes a bigger issue. Uh, and, uh, you know, we want these normal curves. Now, the third abnormal curvature is not an anterior to posterior curve. It's a side-to-side -side curve called uh, scoliosis. So with scoliosis, I do have a uh, slide that we'll go to that discusses this a little more in detail. So if we go past our herniated disc and our uh, spina bifida, I've got one slide that talks about scoliosis. So with scoliosis, you're going to have a side-to-side -side curvature. See this x-ray of this girl her uh, vertebrae are curving side to side. Now, your vertebrae should be straight up and down from side to side. They should not be going left or right. So this is a pretty pronounced 
um, curvature. You can see another one in this second x-ray here. It's very curved. Now this can start causing damage. It can put pressure on things. It can cause a lot of pain. Um, but it's a side-to-side -side curvature. The exact causes of scoliosis isn't really well known. We know that it's uh, more uh, multifactorial. We know that there's a number of things going on, uh, including an inheritance. So uh, scoliosis can be inherited uh, from your parents. Uh, but as far as the, the exact cause of what causes this, we aren't sure. We do know that it runs in families. And so um, scoliosis is that side-to-side -side curvature. All right, so um, that kind of takes care of this handout. Pretty simple stuff. And so um, we're going to... Uh, continue on that kind of concludes well now I got a handout I got handout 7 uh, 8d which will then conclude chapter 7 I don't have a handout for chapter 8 we'll just go through that a little bit with our uh, PowerPoint and we'll wrap this chapter up see this is pretty easy stuff for uh, these couple of chapters most of this test number two is going to be chapter 6 so uh, make sure you're studying chapter six. All right, so I will see you for our next video. All right.